Hello everybody, Jessica here. Welcome to Koala Corner. Thank you for tuning in for our arts and crafts lesson for the day. Uh, today, we're going to be making a dragonfly. So this is a model of what we're gonna be making today. So um, be sure to get your materials out, whatever you're gonna need for this activity. And I'll go ahead and give you a quick rundown of what we're gonna use. Of course, we're gonna use our scissors. We're going to use our liquid glue. Um, we're, we are going to need a pencil. And I have some Google Eyes. We're going to use very small ones today. And then we have our pipe cleaners. We need two pipe cleaners. We are going to use a clothespin and some pom-poms. So these are the materials we're going to be using today for this activity. So thank you all for watching and for coming along for this fun activity. So once again, I'll show it. That way you can see what we're gonna be making. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our clothespin. And once again, when you grab your materials uh, from your box that we're gonna need, I recommend using the liquid glue for this activity as well. Uh, the reason being the liquid glue helps everything uh, stay in place. It holds everything in place. So depending on the type of activity we'll be doing, I'll be letting you know whether we need a glue stick or liquid glue or what type of glue. But for this activity, we will be using our liquid glue. Um, so first thing we're going to do is we've got our clothespin. And if you notice on this dragonfly, it's got wings. Dragonflies have wings. Um, if you've ever seen uh, dragonflies outside, um, I'm sure you've noticed they are very beautiful in color. There are many colors, there are many that are metallic in color, so the more color we put on there, the better. It makes the activity fun, the more color we use. So uh, we're gonna make our wings first. So our wings, and like I said, um, I know you have different color pipe cleaners in your kit, so whichever color you'd like to use for the antenna and for the wings is totally up to you. Um, for mine, I'm gonna go ahead and use my blue pipe cleaner for my wings. And I'm gonna show you how we're gonna put those wings together. We're gonna to grab our pipe cleaner, we're gonna shape it into a circle like this, and we're just gonna twist it so that it makes a circle. So once you twist it together, it's gonna to look like this, okay? And then once you have your circle, all you're gonna do is twist it in the middle one more time to make it stay together. And that's going to give you the shape of your wings. So you're just going to twist it and you're going to end up with uh, wings. It's going to look like a bow, a bit like a bow. So this is what your wings are going to look like. So we started out, I'll show you one more time. So we started out with our circle and then we just grabbed it, twisted it together. Oops. I didn't do it tight enough. So when you do your activity, be sure you do it tight so it doesn't come apart like that. So let me do it a little bit tighter so that we have our circle. And this will help, it'll, um, that way everybody can see once again. So we have our circle. We're just gonna twist it in the center and make our two. So there you go, looks like a little bow. And then we're gonna grab our pipe, our um, clothespin, I'm sorry. And then these wings are just gonna go as far down as you can get them in there. So this clothespin is gonna be the body and we have our dragonfly wings. So there you go. So this is the first step. There we go. So I'll hold this one up again so you can see, you know, this is what we're gonna look like. And once we're done, you can shape them. If you want them um, more of a circle shape, you can. Pipe cleaners are very flexible. So you're able to bend them and move them to whatever shape you'd like. If you want them circles, if you want them thinner, you can always just shape them to whatever, whatever shape you'd like. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we've got our antenna. So if you look at this one, see these up here, we're gonna use a pipe cleaner for our antenna of our dragonfly. And I'm gonna use purple. And we're not gonna need the entire um, pipe cleaner so we're gonna cut it in half so we'll just fold it up so that we just have half so we can always save the other half for another activity you know that you can hold on to so this we're gonna use half of it for our antenna and if you notice on the clothespin it's got a little um, 
hole right there in the top. So all we're gonna do is you're gonna slide it through there. So it's gonna look like that, that's the first step. And then we're just gonna twist it on the top. Like I said, pipe cleaners are very flexible. So if you give it a, a little twist, and then the pencil, we're gonna use our pencil to curl it. See, and you, once again, you can shape them any, position them any way you'd like. If you want them, you know, kind of sticking straight up, you can do that. If you want them um, facing in, facing out, it's totally up to you how you want to position them. So this is how we're going to do mine today. Okay. So as you can see, <clears throat> it's coming together. If you look at our model, look at our uh, project that we're working on, it's coming together. So the next step we're going to do <clears throat> is we're going to use our pom-poms and we're going to use four pom-poms. Um, I know in your in your packets, in your boxes, you have a shimmery one. Um, I like to use the shimmery one for the head. It just makes it stand out more. So I'm going to use my shimmery one to, for the head and then my other three for the body. But if you want to use the shimmery one for the body, that's totally up to you. You can position them in any order and any color that you'd like. So I'm going to start off with this one. And now we're going to use our liquid glue. So we're going to put on the head first, and I'm going to face it to you so you're able to see. And be sure you put enough glue. Um, it's going to drip on the sides, but that's fine. Um, this type of glue is easy cleanup, so it won't cause any damage to any type of surfaces. So that's going to be our head. And then we're going to do our next one uh, to make the body. I'm going to use my purple one next. So same thing. Put a big dot of glue there to hold it in place. And if you see once, um, if you didn't put enough glue, that's fine. You can always, it's very easy before it sets to dry. It's very easy to um, just pick it up and add some more. I'm gonna put the yellow one next because we need three to make our body. And the last one I'm gonna use is my dark blue one. So there we go. So once we glue all of those on, it's gonna look like this, okay? Then the last thing we're gonna do is put on our Google Eyes. I have some tiny ones, so you'll need your Google Eyes as well. Um, and we're just gonna use two. So these are gonna go, of course, on the uh, head of the caterpillar, I mean, of the dragonfly. So here you go. So we see how they're positioned there. So we're gonna glue the first one. Just a quick fun fact about um, dragonflies. They're actually found all over the world. The only place you will not find dragonflies is in Antarctica. So that's just a quick fun fact. Okay, so that is gonna be the last step that we have for our dragonfly. And I'm gonna hold that up so you're able to see it. So here we go. This is what our final project is gonna look like. As you can see, um, we have our model and this is what it looks like but like I said you can put your whatever colors you want to use in whatever order um, it's totally up to you um, I want to tell you something really quick that you can actually use this for if you can look at this one let me show you it's able to be used as a decoration it'll stand up if you want to put it on a shelf or anywhere or um, you can always use a thumbtack to tack it on the wings and put it on the wall. And one really cool thing that you're able to do with something like this is always add a magnet to the back. If you add a magnet to the back and let it set to dry, it can always be made into a refrigerator magnet. You can put it on a file cabinet, wherever you'd like to put it. So there's a lot of fun things you can do with this once you're done with your final project. Um, it's gonna take a while to dry, so I suggest that you just let it set, you know, of course we use a lot of glue. The liquid glue does take a while to dry, but once it's set, you'll be good to go and you'll be able to use your, your dragonfly for whatever you like. So thank you once again for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed this, this lesson and I'll be seeing you soon. Thank you, have a great day.